A new free shuttle began operating at the Como Park Zoo and Conservatory over Memorial Day weekend, expanding the parking options to the nearly 2 million annual visitors to the zoo, conservatory, and the children's amusement park. This free service will ease the traffic congestion and improve neighborhood safety in the park and surrounding neighborhoods. The shuttle picks families up at parking lots at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds and the St. Paul Public Schools District Service Facility, both located off of Como Avenue, and then drops them off at the Visitor Center at the Zoo and Conservatory. The buses run 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. every weekend through September with the exception of the 4th of July weekend. The new shuttle is a great solution to both the visitors of the Como Park Zoo and Conservatory and the surrounding neighborhoods of this popular attraction. Not only will there be ample parking in the nearby lots, but the shuttle will drop visitors off close to the entrance. Como is one of Minnesota's great attractions for families across the region, and now the shuttle will make the experience more enjoyable by reducing the stress and hassle of finding that elusive parking spot. To learn more about how this whole shuttle came to be, I caught up with Michelle Furr, the Como Campus Manager. We're really excited here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory for the operation of this new shuttle. This is something that we actually have had in our master plan for over 25 years, and it was really important for us to get it right and do it right for our guests as well as our visitors at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. One of the things about the Como Shuttle is that we actually have a federal transportation grant that's helping us to underwrite and operate and purchase three shuttle buses that are low emission and diesel. But we really wanted to be part of the Como brand. Como is all about getting closer to the animals and getting closer to the plants. And now guests can get closer to the front door with these great shuttles. The experience actually starts when you get on the buses. They're wrapped in as a leopard or a zebra or even a sunflower. The buses will be running weekends through the end of September and we hope to expand that service next year. Recently a survey was conducted and found out that out of the 92% of visitors who drive to Como Park Zoo and Conservatory, 68% said they would utilize the shuttle bus service. We asked some of the riders what they think of the new service. We loved it. It was nice and easy. Well, I thought it was great. I think, you know, we drove around for 30, 45 minutes trying to find a spot and there was so many, so much space between it. It's nice and then Alex likes the fact that it looks so adorable with all the little leopard spots on it. It is awesome. We were so excited that there was this option because it's uh, just a, a nice way to go and we have a four-year-old that loves taking the bus, so any new bus is awesome for us. It's a wonderful idea. Whoever came up with it needs an award. Bottom line, this new free service is a way to ease traffic congestion in and around the park improve safety, mitigate vehicle emissions, thus improving the air quality, and ease the frustration of circling the parking lot in hopes of nabbing that one rare open parking spot. So jump aboard the new Como Shuttle.